What do you say to a group of people who've actually done all the work? Who've put in the hours, who've put in the blood, sweat, and tears to make something like this happen other than just to say thank you. That you know by looking at it, it will literally change everything. And we all know that Dream Chaser is that revolutionary product. NASA just handed over $1.4 billion to a company that isn't SpaceX. Why? Because they built a spacecraft that could revolutionize how we access space. It's called Dream Chaser, and it's not your average rocket. This space plane can carry 7,800 pounds of cargo to the International Space Station and land on a runway like an airplane. Is this the beginning of the end for SpaceX's monopoly on space? The space plane revolution. Imagine a spacecraft that lands on a runway like an airplane. Sounds like science fiction? It's not. Meet Dream Chaser, a space plane that's changing space transportation. Dream Chaser is a unique hybrid, combining the ability to soar through space with the bonus of runway landings. This design offers significant advantages over traditional spacecraft. While capsules splash down in the ocean, risking damage to equipment and complex recovery operations, Dream Chaser's controlled, gliding approach allows for a gentler return. The space plane's wing design is reminiscent of NASA's retired space shuttle, but with notable upgrades. It's equipped with advanced thermal protection systems to withstand the extreme heat and forces of re-entry, ensuring safe returns for cargo and potentially future astronauts. Dream Chaser's impact on space missions is substantial. Its gentle landing makes it ideal for transporting delicate scientific experiments and sensitive equipment. Critical research samples or fragile technology can be unloaded just hours after touchdown, rather than waiting days for ocean recovery. The space plane's first mission, set to last about 45 days, will showcase its versatility. It will perform critical tasks like altitude control and translational maneuvers, demonstrating its capabilities beyond just reaching space. But Dream Chaser has more to offer than its landing prowess. What other innovations does this space plane bring to the table? How might it reshape our approach to space exploration and transportation? The potential seems limitless, and we're only beginning to scratch the surface of what this revolutionary vehicle can do. Cargo Capacity Showdown, Dream Chaser's impressive cargo capacity opens up exciting possibilities for space research and exploration. With the ability to transport large quantities of supplies, equipment, and scientific instruments to orbital outposts like the ISS, this spacecraft could accelerate the pace of scientific discovery and push the boundaries of human exploration. Imagine sending larger, more complex scientific experiments to the ISS in a single launch. This massive payload capability could transform our approach to space-based scientific exploration. Entire racks of equipment, bulky life support systems, or even components for future space habitats could be transported more efficiently. The significance of this increased cargo capacity for ISS missions is profound. We could see more ambitious research projects, longer duration missions, and possibly even the expansion of the ISS itself. The types of cargo typically sent to the ISS include scientific experiments, supplies for astronauts, and equipment necessary for maintaining the station's operations. Dream Chaser's enhanced capacity could allow for a wider range of these essential items to be delivered in fewer trips. Sierra Space's CEO, Tom Weiss, emphasized the spacecraft's readiness, stating, successful completion of an incredibly rigorous environmental testing campaign in close partnership with NASA is a significant milestone and puts Dream Chaser on track for operations later this year. This underscores the imminent reality of Dream Chaser's mission capabilities and the potential it holds for transforming space cargo delivery. The innovation extends beyond just capacity. Dream Chaser's cargo system includes clever design elements that allow for maximum efficiency in cargo missions. This approach combines the benefits of reusability with the flexibility to adapt to various mission requirements. When we consider the potential impact of Dream Chaser's capabilities, the possibilities for a major shift in the space industry become clear. This could mean more diverse payloads per mission, a more cost-effective approach to space logistics, and ultimately a new era in space research and exploration. But getting cargo to space is only half the battle. The real challenge lies in what happens after the payload reaches its destination. And that's where Dream Chaser has another ace up its sleeve. The reusability race. 
We've seen Dream Chaser's impressive cargo capabilities, but there's another game-changing feature that could redefine space travel as we know it. What if spacecraft could fly not just once, but over a dozen times? The race for reusability is on, and the winner could dominate the future of space exploration. Reusability in spaceflight isn't just a fancy concept, it's a revolution in the making. Imagine a world where spacecraft can be used again and again, just like commercial airplanes. This isn't science fiction anymore, it's becoming a reality, and it's set to transform the economics of space travel. Right now, SpaceX is leading the pack in rocket reusability. Their Falcon 9 rocket has made history with over 300 successful launches as of 2024. That's not just impressive. It's a testament to the reliability and efficiency of reusable technology. In fact, SpaceX dominated the launch market in 2023, accounting for more than 40% of all global rocket launches. That's a staggering 96 launches in a single year. But here's where things get interesting. Dream Chaser is stepping into the ring with its own reusability strategy. This space plane is designed to be used up to 15 times which is a significant leap forward in spacecraft technology. While it might not match the sheer number of SpaceX's launches yet, it's a clear signal that the era of single-use spacecraft is coming to an end. The economic implications of this reusability race are huge. Every time a spacecraft can be reused, it dramatically lowers the cost of getting to space. Think about it. If you only had to build a spacecraft once, but could use it multiple times, you'd save a fortune on manufacturing and materials. This could make space missions more affordable and frequent, opening up new possibilities for scientific research, space tourism, and even colonization. Sierra Space's CEO, Tom Weiss, highlighted the importance of this shift, saying, this is the year that we transition from rigorous research and development to regular orbital operations, and in doing so, transform the way we connect space and Earth. It's not just about building cool spacecraft anymore. It's about making space access routine and economical. But Dream Chaser has an ace up its sleeve when it comes to reusability. Remember how we talked about its ability to land on a runway? This gentle touchdown method could give it an edge in the reusability race. Traditional capsules that splash down in the ocean face risks like seawater damage and longer recovery times. Dream Chaser's runway landings could mean faster turnaround times between missions and potentially less wear and tear on the vehicle. When we compare Dream Chaser's reusability to SpaceX's rockets, we see two different approaches to the same goal. SpaceX has focused on making its rockets reusable, while Dream Chaser is bringing reusability to the spacecraft itself. Both strategies have their merits, and it'll be fascinating to see how they play out in the coming years. But hold on to your seats, space fans. While reusability is a game changer, there's one more factor that could completely reshape the balance of power in the commercial space industry. And it involves a billion dollar bet on the future of space exploration. The NASA contract game changer, a billion dollar bet on the future of space exploration. It sounds like science fiction, but NASA just made it a reality. In a move that's sending shockwaves through the industry, the space agency has placed an astronomical wager on an unproven spacecraft. What could prompt such a bold decision, and what does it mean for the current kings of commercial spaceflight? Let's take a step back and look at NASA's Commercial Resupply Services Program. This initiative was designed to keep the International Space Station well-stocked with essential supplies and equipment. For years, SpaceX has been the dominant force in this arena, their Dragon spacecraft becoming a familiar sight as it ferries cargo to and from the orbiting laboratory. But now there's a new player in town, Sierra Space's Dream Chaser has secured a major NASA contract worth a staggering $1.4 billion. That's right, NASA is betting big on a spacecraft that hasn't even left the ground yet. This move has raised eyebrows across the industry and left many wondering, what makes Dream Chaser so special? The significance of this contract can't be overstated. It's not just about the money, it's a vote of confidence in Dream Chaser's innovative design and potential capabilities. NASA's selection criteria are rigorous, focusing on the ability to safely deliver and return cargo to the ISS, as well as the potential for future crewed missions. By choosing Dream Chaser, NASA is signaling its belief in the space plane's ability to meet these demanding requirements. 
This decision could mark a significant shift in the balance of power in commercial spaceflight. SpaceX has long enjoyed a dominant position, but Dream Chaser's entry into the market introduces a new level of competition. If Sierra Space can deliver on its promises, we might see a more diversified landscape in space transportation, with multiple companies vying for NASA contracts. As Dream Chaser prepares for its first mission, anticipation is building. The spacecraft is set to demonstrate its capabilities over a 45-day period, showcasing its ability to perform critical tasks like altitude control and translational maneuvers. Success in this inaugural flight could pave the way for more missions and potentially challenge SpaceX's stronghold on NASA contracts. Tom Weiss, CEO of Sierra Space, expressed confidence in Dream Chaser's readiness, stating, successful completion of an incredibly rigorous environmental testing campaign in close partnership with NASA is a significant milestone and puts Dream Chaser on track for operations later this year. This statement underscores the meticulous preparation that has gone into ensuring Dream Chaser is ready for its big debut. As we look to the future, one question looms large. How will this increased competition shape our journey to the stars? The next chapter in space exploration promises to be truly extraordinary, potentially opening up new frontiers we've only dreamed of. What do you think the future holds for space travel? Share your thoughts in the comments below.